29, we are following breaking overnight news from across Hampton Roads. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday morning. I'm Katie Collette. And I'm Don Roberts. Right now, several shooting investigations are underway across our area. Between 7 last night and midnight, at least four people were hurt in shootings in Hampton, Newport News, and Chesapeake. One of the victims is fighting for life. Our Kiana Patterson joins us live now from the Chesapeake Police Department. And Kiana, officers there say a person is badly hurt after a late night shooting. And this all happened in the South Norfolk section of the city. Yes, Katie and Don, Chesapeake police say someone is fighting for their life after a late night shooting and they need your help to find the shooter responsible for pulling the trigger. Now they say they were called to the Hunters Point Apartments on Linster Street around 11 o'clock and when they got there, they found a person shot. Medics rushed that person to Norfolk General Hospital where they are seriously hurt. Now police do ask if you know anything at all to call police, but now we're going to toss it over to Lex Gray. Lex, this is just the first shooting last night in Chesapeake. Yes, that's right. Unfortunately, less than an hour later, Chesapeake police responded to a second shooting. It happened just before midnight on Falk Street. That's just off South Military Highway near the Gilmerton Bridge. A witness at the scene brought the victim to the hospital. That witness told police three men wearing masks drove up in a blue Nissan truck, got out and shot the victim. The shooters took off. We're still working to find out how that victim is doing this morning. Heading north to the peninsula, Newport News police are investigating a late night shooting. It happened around 10 last night on Terminal Avenue in the Marshall section of the city. The 18 year old victim was shot in the knee. He's expected to survive. No word yet on who fired the shot. One person is recovering after gunfire in Hampton. It happened around 7 last night on Executive Drive, not far from Peninsula Town Center. We're working to get more information about the victim and a suspect. As soon as we get up.